بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today إن شاء الله we will talk about group number seven in the periodic table as we said before in this chapter إن شاء الله we will talk about topic number nine in your syllabus IGCC chemistry 0620 topic number nine we have to know group number one element group number seven element transition elements and noble gases properties and the trend of properties in group number one, group number seven, transition elements and noble gases. Last period, I'm talking about uh, group number one, alkali metals, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. francium. Today, inshallah, I'm going to talk about group number seven in the periodic table which is called halogens, halogens. Actually, these are the group seven in the periodic table, and these are non-metals, non-metals, non-metals. Group number seven in the periodic table, non-metals, and it's called halogens, halogens. Let's to see Group number seven on the periodic table. Here I have the periodic table. I'm talking about group number seven. I'm talking about group number seven. This is the group. Chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, acetine. Group number seven in the periodic table. These elements are called halogens. As you know, these elements are metal or non-metal. Of course, non-metal. Of course, non-metal. Because we said before, on the left of the periodic table, we have a metal. On the right of the periodic table, we have non-metal. And between metal and non-metal, there are elements which is called semi-metal, semi-metal, or metalloids, or metalloids. Whatever group number seven are non-metals. Today, inshallah, I'm going to talk about group number seven, which is called non-metals, halogens. And these non-metals are gases, okay? Most of them are gases and poisonous gases. Halogens are diatomic, meaning they form a molecule of two atoms. What does it mean? There is no chlorine alone, but you have to find Cl2, Cl2. So it's called diatomic, diatomic. Diatomic consists of two atoms, two atoms. There is no bromine alone. There is no Br alone. But actually, we have Br2, Br2. So it's di diatomic, diatomic. There is no iodine alone, but actually, it's I2, I2 as diatomic. All halogens have seven electrons in their outer shell. All halogens have seven electrons in their outer shell. If I ask you a question to write electronic configuration of chlorine, to write electronic configuration of chlorine, so what is the number of electrons in chlorine? 17 electrons. So if you need to write electronic configuration of chlorine, it would be Two, chlorine will be two, the first shell, eight, and seven. Two, eight, and seven. So in outermost shell, I have seven electrons. Seven electrons. And all halogens have seven electrons in their outer shell. This is example, chlorine, just example for you. So all halogens have seven electrons in their outer shell. Seven electrons in their outer shell. So halogens have to gain one electron, gain one electron. They form halide ions by gaining one or more electron to complete their outer shell. Colors and state at room temperature. Colors and state at room temperature. Actually, halogens, halogens, I'm talking about halogens. So I'm talking about fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. 
chlorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. What about the trend in physical state? What about the trend in physical state? Chlorine is a gas. Chlorine is a gas. Bromine is a solid. Iodine is a liquid. Gas, gas, liquid, solid. So by going down through group number seven in the periodic table, I'm moving from gas to solid, gas to solid. Sometimes there are questions about what chlorine, bromine, iodine, and fluorine in IUCC exam. Maybe we are asking you about what is the physical state of chlorine at room temperature. Chlorine actually is a gas. Fluorine is a gas also. Bromine liquid iodine is a solid. So you have to be aware about properties or about physical state at room temperature from fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So what about color? By going down, moving down through group number seven, down, what you noticed here? Color of fluorine yellow, chlorine pale green, bromine red brown, finally iodine black. So color gets deeper, color gets deeper. So this is a trend, this is a trend. By going down through group number seven, color gets deeper, color gets deeper. Trend in physical properties of halogens. What about melting point? What about melting point and boiling point? What about density? When I'm talking about physical property, when I'm talking about physical properties, what does it mean? I'm talking about melting point, boiling point, density, even color, even color. Density and melting and boiling point of the halogen increase as you go down to the group, increase. So what are properties which increase as you're going down through the group? Density, melting, and boiling point. Density, melting, and boiling point. Increase. What does it mean? By going down, density, melting, and boiling point of the halogens increase. So density of iodine more than density of bromine and density of bromine more than density of chlorine and so on. Melting point and boiling point increase as well. So melting and boiling point of iodine higher than bromine, higher than chlorine, higher than fluorine. So these are properties which increase as you're going down. These are properties which increase as you're going down through group number seven. Melting and boiling point increase, increase. Clear? So I have a three property increase as you're going down through the group. Melting density, melting point, and boiling point. State at room temperature. As we see here, chlorine is a gas. Chlorine is a gas. Bromine is a liquid, iodine is a solid. As you see here, this is chlorine, it's a gas. Even fluorine is a gas also. Bromine is a liquid, this is bromine. Bromine is a liquid, this is iodine, so it's a solid state, as you see here. Can you remember which topic we talked about uh, arrangement of particles in liquid, solid, and gas state in topic number one, particle nature of matter? Yes, you are correct. So chlorine, bromine, and iodine. What about color? What about color? As we said before, by going down through group number seven, color gets deeper or darker. Halogens become darker as you go down the group. Halogens 
What are halogens? Halogens are a group, halogens are elements of the group number seven of the periodic table. What are these elements? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So halogens become darker as you go down the group. Chlorine is a pale green, bromine is a red brown, and iodine is a black. So by going down into row number seven, color gets deeper. Color gets deeper. As you see here, chlorine, bromine, finally iodine. As you see here, color gets deeper. As you see here, color gets deeper. So when we are talking about it, when we are talking about it, group number seven, I'm talking about now about the group number seven in the periodic table. I'm talking about the group number seven in the periodic table. I'm talking about the color of halogens, color of halogens. As you move down and color gets deeper, color gets deeper. <clears throat> As we said before, elements of the group number seven in the periodic table, elements of the group number seven in the periodic table have seven electron in their outermost shell. Seven electron. Check chlorine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven electrons in outermost shell. Even here in bromine, I have how many electrons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even bromine has seven electrons in outermost shell. So what about iodine? Iodine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven electrons in outermost shell. What does it mean? Chlorine, to be stable, chlorine have to gain one electron. Bromine have to gain one electron. Iodine have to gain one electron. So these elements will form negative ions. Negative ions. Why negative ions? Because these elements gain one electron to be stable, to be eight, to be eight. If there are eight electrons, in outermost shell, so the atom will be stable. Trend in reactivity in group number one. Group number one, if you remember when we talked about group number one, we said as you're going down, what about reactivity? When I'm talking about group number one, we said as you're going down, what about reactivity? Reactivity of elements. Reactivity of elements. Reactivity increase. Reactivity increase. Okay. Reactivity increase. But in group number seven, reactivity increase as you go up. As you go up. So it's the opposite of group number one. In group number one, as you go down, reactivity increase. But in group number seven, as you go up, reactivity increases. But as you go up. Each outer shell contains seven electrons, and when they react, they will need to gain one outer electron to get a full outer shell of electrons. As you see here, in chlorine, in outermost shell, there are seven electrons. In bromine, seven electrons. In iodine, seven electrons. So each one need to gain one electron to be eight. So what would happen if there are eight electrons in outermost shell? Atom will be stable. Atom will be stable. So the goal of chlorine to gain one electron, goal of bromine to gain one electron, even goal of iodine to gain one electron. As you go up the group number seven, the number of shell of electrons decrease. This means that the outer electrons are closer to the nucleus. So there are stronger 
electrostatic forces of attraction that attract the extra electrons needed. So by going up through group number seven, reactivity increase, reactivity increase. So if I ask you a question, if you need to compare, if you need to compare between reactivity in a group number one and reactivity in a group number seven, what would you say? Yes, exactly. Reactivity in a group number one, as you're going down, as you move down through group number one, reactivity increase. But in group number seven, as you go up, reactivity increase. Reactivity increase. How many electrons, how many electrons exist in a group number seven, in outermost shell of the group number seven? Seven electrons, seven electrons. So what is the behavior of these elements? What is the behavior of these elements? These elements have to gain one electron, have to gain one electron. Why? To be eight. So what? So it will be stable. So it will be stable. So these elements are very active, yes. We used to see reactions of halogens with halide ions in displacement reaction, in displacement reaction. Displacement reaction, what does it mean? In displacement reaction, one atom will take a place another atom will take place the position of another atom. As we said before, in the group number seven, by going up, reactivity increase. Reactivity increase. So what does it mean? What does it mean? In the group, in the group number seven, what we said in the group number seven, in group number seven, we said, in the group number seven, we said, as you going up, as you going up, reactivity increase, so that bromine more reactive than iodine, chlorine, more reactive than bromine, chlorine, more reactive than chlorine, and so on. Again, what is the meaning of reactivity? When I talk about group number seven, now I'm talking about group number seven in the periodic table. What are, what are elements in group number seven? These elements. I am talking exactly about fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. I am talking about these elements. And we said, as you go up through group number seven, reactivity increase. What does it mean? Bromine, more reactive than iodine. Chlorine, more reactive than bromine. Fluorine, more reactive than chlorine. So by going up, reactivity increase. So that if there is a reaction between chlorine and compound of bromine, compound of bromine, like this. I will write equation for you now and I will ask you a question. If you have uh, Br2, what is Br2? Bromine, bromine plus 2NaI, 2NaI. If there is a reaction or not, and if there is a reaction, what is a product? What is a product? As you see here, 
reaction between bromine and sodium iodide. Sodium iodide. Bromine can take place the position of iodine. Bromine can ask iodine to go out. We still check here. Bromine, an arrangement of elements higher than iodine. Position of bromine higher than of iodine. What does it mean? Bromine more reactive than iodine. Bromine more reactive than iodine. As we said before. Fluorine more reactive than chlorine. Chlorine more reactive than bromine. Bromine more reactive than iodine, and so on. So bromine more reactive than iodine. So bromine can take a case, the position of iodine, to form what? Instead of 2 in A, it will be 2 in A. Instead of 2 in AI, sodium iodide, it will be sodium bromide. Sodium bromide, 2 in A. BR, 2 in A, BR. So the answer is 2 in A, BR. 2 in A, BR. Plus I2. Plus I2. 2 in A, BR, plus I2. 2 in ABR plus I2 because bromine more reactive than iodine. Bromine more reactive than iodine. So bromine can take place of iodine. If I have the opposite, if I have iodine I2, I2 need to react with 2 in A, Br. If there isn't a chemical reaction, if there is a chemical reaction, of course, there is no chemical reaction. Why? Because iodine, iodine, this iodine cannot take a place of bromine. Why? Because here, iodine less than bromine, less than bromine, so iodine cannot take a place of bromine. And not take a piece of bromine. This is what I'm talking about now. As you see here in group number seven on the periodic table, chlorine more reactive than chlorine and can take a piece of chlorine. Chlorine more reactive than bromine, bromine more reactive than iodine, and so on. This is complete talking about. Uh, a reaction of halogens with halides. It's to discuss here. 2 in A plus Ca2. 2 in A plus Ca2. 2 KBr, sorry, 2 KBr plus Ca2. Which one is more reactive? Chlorine or bromine? Of course, chlorine is more reactive. Because an arrangement, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So chlorine higher than bromine in group number seven. So chlorine can take place bromine. Bromine will go out, as you see here. And instead of 2KBr, it will be 2KCl, 2KCl. Potassium bromide plus chlorine. It will be potassium chloride plus bromine. Potassium chloride plus bromine. Okay. If you add chlorine solution to chlorine's potassium bromide solution, the solution becomes orange as bromine is formed. So here in this reaction, the solution will be, will be orange. Why? Because I have bromine here. So bromine is orange. Chlorine above bromine in group number seven, so is more reactive, is more reactive. Chlorine will therefore displace bromine from an aqueous solution of metal bromide. And instead of 2KBr, it will be 2KCl, it will be 2KCl. 
So what about bromine and iodine? Bromine and iodine. As you know, bromine is more reactive than iodine. Bromine is more reactive than iodine. Therefore, therefore, bromine will displace iodine from an aqueous solution because bromine is more reactive. Because bromine is more reactive. Bromine is more reactive. Instead of magnesium iodide, it will be magnesium bromide. Magnesium bromide. So bromine plus magnesium iodide to be magnesium bromide plus iodine. Plus iodine. So what about the properties of other halogens, fluorine and acetine? Melting and boiling point of the halogens increase as you go down the group. Melting and boiling point. Melting and boiling point both. Melting and boiling point increase. Increase. So that melting and boiling point of iodine higher than melting of boy, melting and boiling point of bromine, higher than melting and boiling point of chlorine, higher than melting and boiling point of fluorine. Fluorine is at the top of group number seven, so we have the lowest melting and boiling point. Acetine is at the bottom of group number seven. So we have the highest melting and boiling point. Physical state, halogens become harder as you go down the group because we said starting from fluorine, chlorine are gases, bromine is a liquid, iodine is solid, and color gets darker or gets deeper. Color gets darker or gets deeper. So if you have here group number seven elements, again, what are group number seven elements? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. These elements are called halogens. Halogens. What are these elements? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. What about melting and boiling point? By going down, by going down through the group, melting and boiling point increase. Melting and boiling point increase. What does it mean? By you moving down through the group, melting and boiling point increase. Melting and boiling point of acetine more than iodine. And iodine more than bromine. Bromine more than chlorine. Chlorine more than fluorine. So the lowest one is fluorine because fluorine as a top. As a top of group number seven. So which one is the lowest melting and boiling point? As you see here, which one is the lowest melting and boiling point? Uh, yes, fluorine. Fluorine is the lowest melting and boiling point. Which one is the highest one? Estetine, because at the bottom, at the end of group number seven, at the end of group number seven in the periodic table. So what about reactivity? What about reactivity? We said by going down, reactivity increases. So chlorine, more reactive than bromine. Bromine, more reactive than iodine. Okay, how many electrons, how many electrons exist in the group number seven elements? How many electrons? Seven electrons. So what is the behavior of these elements? Gain or lose electron? Gain or lose electrons? Yes, gain one electron. Why? To be eight. So what? It will be stable. What about color? What about the trend of color? As you're going down through group number seven, color gets deeper. Color gets deeper. Fluorine is yellow. Chlorine is a green, bromine is a red, iodine is a black, iodine is a black. Okay, so what about uh, reactivity? By going up, reactivity increase. By going up, reactivity increase. What about boiling and melting point? By going down, boiling and melting point increase. 
increase, both increase. So what does it mean? Melting and boiling point of chlorine higher than melting and boiling point of chlorine of uh, melting and boiling point of chlorine higher than melting and boiling point of chlorine. Yes, and bromine higher than chlorine, and so on. So if I ask a question, which one is more more boiling and melting point, bromine or chlorine? Bromine or chlorine? Which one of these elements more boiling point, chlorine or bromine? Yes, bromine is higher than chlorine in melting and boiling point. Bromine is higher than chlorine in melting and boiling point. So, in these three elements, chlorine, chlorine, and bromine, which one is the higher melting and boiling point? Which one is the lowest? Yes. Fluorine, fluorine, is the lowest one, and bromine is the highest one. Because as you're going down, melting and boiling point increase, melting and boiling point increase. Okay, so what about color? As you go down, as you go down, color gets deeper, color gets deeper. As you see here, color gets deeper. Look, look here in this picture. Look here, this is chlorine, green gas. Then bromine, look, gets deeper. Finally, iodine is a black, it's a black. Even in physical state, even in physical state, as you're going down, you are moving from gas for chlorine, liquid for bromine, solid for iodine, which is a black, which is a black solid. Iodine actually is a black solid. Iodine is a black solid. What about reactivity? What about reactivity? What about reactivity of these elements? What about reactivity of a group number seven? If we are talking about reactivity of a group number seven, if we are talking about reactivity of a group number seven, we have to say by going down, by going down, reactivity decrease. Reactivity decrease. So let's to ask uh, Mohammed Dory kindly attention with me. Here I have a group number seven. I will ask you a question. Which one in these elements, which one in these elements is the lowest melting and boiling point? Mohammed Dory, wait. Okay. Dory, which one? Which one is the lowest and lowest melting and boiling point? Which one, Mohammed? Um, chlorine. What? I cannot hear you. Uh, for, uh, fluorine. The lowest is fluorine. Yes, excellent. Yes, exactly. Fluorine. Which one is uh, which one with highest melting and boiling point? Of these three, borine. Bromine. 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 Yes. Which one is most reactive? Uh, bromine. Fluorine, yes. Most reactive, fluorine. Then? Chlorine. Uh, yeah. Chlorine. Then? Bromine. Then iodine. Final yes, uh, Which one in uh, solid state in these elements? Uh, Um, what's the last one, sir? Uh, which one is iodine? Which, iodine, yes, iodine in solid state. Which one in liquid state? 
foreign. No. Romine. Uh, Romine. Romine. Look. Fluorine and chlorine are gases. Fluorine and chlorine are gases. gases. Bromine is the liquid. Iodine is the solid. Again. Fluorine and chlorine what? Gases. Gases. Bromine. Uh, liquid. Liquid. Iodine is solid. a solid. So what about color? As you go down, what about color? Color will it's be deeper. more deeper. Deeper. Darker. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So that iodine is a black solid. Iodine is a black solid. Sorry. Yes. Exactly. Uh, uh, these are elements of group number seven, which is called halogens. 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 Okay. For ink, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, I'm talking about these four elements. Okay. How many electrons exist in outermost shell of these elements? How many electrons? Seven. Seven electrons. So it will gain or more electron? It will gain. Gain one, one electron. electron to be to be eight. Seven. To be stable, yes. Thank you for listening and for your attendance. Uh, inshallah, next session, we'll talk about uh, transition elements and we'll talk about group number eight. And after that, we will solve the questions about periodic table, about topic number nine in your syllabus. Thank you for attendance. Thank you for listening and participation. Thank you for coming.